for all those reasons, I'm delighted to be able to call to the podium our next head coach, Steve Prohm. Thank you so much. Thanks, uh, thank you all for being here today. This is a, a blessed day uh, for me, for my family, um, and so, so thankful for this opportunity. And I really appreciate all you players being here today. That means a lot to me and uh, for where we want to go as a team. Before I get started, obviously I want to thank three people, uh, Dr. Leith, uh, Jamie, and David, uh, for this opportunity. Uh, you've given me a great opportunity here, and uh, I'm going to do my best every single day uh, to make you guys feel very, very comfortable each day that I'm your head basketball coach. So I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Before I get started on Iowa State, when you spend somewhere 10 years and your wife's from there, you really got to reflect for a second. So I just really want to sit here right now for a second, just say thank you to all the people at Murray State. Thank you all the people in Racer Nation. Thank you for the support that you gave me when I came there nine, ten years ago, and my wife for the last 30 years that she's been there and her family. To my AD, former AD, excuse me, Jamie, to my former AD, Alan Ward, thank you for giving me my first opportunity. Uh, I'll always be grateful to you. And to my first president, Dr. Uh, Dunn, thank you for believing in me. And to my current, former, current pre, former president, there's that's now. I got to get used to this. I've been somewhere for, for a long time. Uh, Dr. Davies, thank you uh, for believing in me as well. And then Dr. Tim Miller as well. To the fans, all the coaches that I work with there, thank you. And to all the families and all the friends that my wife and I have built great, great relationships with, I hope we can, ten, can continue that and we can uh, stay in great uh, touch and you guys get up here to, to Ames, Iowa soon and watch us play because they say there's no better place in the country to play than in Hilton and I can't wait for that first home game. I love watching it on TV, Big Monday, there ain't nothing better. So I'm, that's, that's what I'm most excited about, getting over there. But the one thing, if I didn't take a second, um, I told these guys last night, this game isn't about me, it's not about the head coaches, it's about those guys right there. And from the bottom of my heart, I wouldn't be here today if I didn't coach some unbelievable players, some kids with great character, some kids with great toughness, some kids with great ability. And that's what I talked to those guys about last night. That's what I want in this program uh, at Iowa State. But to all you former Murray State players that I coached and all the ones in the past, thank you for putting me in this position today and, and putting my family in this position. But now it's time to get totally invested in Ames, Iowa. And it's totally time to get invested in those guys right there. Those guys right there, you are my first priority. You will always be my first priority, okay? We will not let each other down. We've got great expectations, and I told you, let's just be great today. And then we'll be great tomorrow, and then we'll do something special together, okay? It's not gonna happen overnight. There's a great culture here of winning, that they, Coach Hoiberg has done the last four years, and I'm just here to try to help these guys go a little bit further. I talked to them about what do I want to see out of my players, what do I want to do with my players. I want to challenge them spiritually. I want to see them grow socially, make great decisions in the community, and impact this community by the way they interact, whether it's at camp or whether it's at, I got to learn the stores at High Five, or High V. High V, high five, <laughs> high five we'll do after the games or with the student section. Um, academically, I want to see you graduate and put yourselves in a position to do great things. And in the basketball, they've got great players here. They know how to win. The basketball stuff will all take care of itself. The more success, the more opportunities for each one of you guys. Someone asked what, what attracted you to this job. And I'll be honest, the first thing, that team. That's just being honest, that team right there. You know, back-to-back -back Big 12 tournament champions, three seed in the NCAA tournament, 
four tremendous seniors that I'm going to look to for great leadership, to steer the ship, run the ship, guide the team, because it's your team. Remember that. It's your team, not my team. It's your team. This fan base, I touched on it briefly, Hilton Magic. You know, watching Big Monday, it's been a dream of mine uh, to coach at the BCS level and in no better conference than the Big 12. To be at a place that had great coaches from Johnny Orr to now your last coach, Fred Hoiberg, who everybody says about replacing him. I'm not here to replace him. I'm here to learn from him, use him as a resource, and hopefully benefit from all the success that he's had here the last four years. He'll be a great resource for me, and he's been very, very uh, welcoming to me over the last couple days, and that's really, really appreciated. The great administration, David, Dr. Leith, and Jamie, that they want to win here, and they want to continue to be very, very successful. My first press conference, it was funny. Both times I've gotten jobs, head jobs, one came in late May, one came in June. So when I first guy I thanked them, I, my, I was uh, trying to write my, my press conference was a lot longer. My first one, I told Jamie I wasn't going to be as long today because I was thanking everybody from my high school coach to my, the college people I worked with. But my one, one of my best friends that I went to college with, he told me, man, you need to break the ice. And the reason Texas a my old boss went to Texas A&M, but the reason that opened up is Gary Williams had retired from Maryland. So he said, first thing you need to do is thank Gary Williams. Uh, for retiring and, and getting this chain moving. So I said, well, maybe I should thank Fred Hoiberg for taking the Bulls job. And so finally, um, you know, everybody wants to know style of play. You know, we averaged 79, 80 points a game. We, do sh we, we did shoot a lot of threes. The one thing about style of play, I think style of play really boils down to having those guys making those guys have great confidence in themselves. Having those guys have a great belief that we don't want to let each other down. I think style of play is more than just, you know, and I've watched Coach Hoiberg's tapes to, to learn and, and see different things, and you hear him all the time yelling, spacing, 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 spacing. And you'll hear the same thing, spacing, get over there, deepest part of the corner you can be in. So, but style of play is so much more than that. You know, style of play is making these seniors Believe in it, believe in me and believe in what we're doing and that we're going to be successful. Style of play, like I said, is making him have just tremendous confidence that, man, you miss a shot, man, I'm ready to go. I'm going to make the next one. I want them playing with great freedom to a point. <laughs> and then we want to be hard-nosed and aggressive defensively, tough-minded, so we can win on the road. We can win big games at home and we can have an opportunity to put ourselves in to win a championship. Lastly, I wouldn't be here without my family. You know, my parents are watching. They're in Wilmington, North Carolina. My mom, my dad, my brother's in Boston. I love you guys. Thank you for all the blessings that you've provided me over the years. And then to my wife. You live a place 10 years, it's hard enough. This is the longest place I ever lived was Murray. You live somewhere your whole life, that's tough. Thank you so much for letting me live this dream out. And to our son, Cass, thank you. It's about relationships. And from this moment on, I'm gonna invest in you guys. I'm gonna invest in this community and we're gonna become one. Thank you so much for this blessing.